out. Yeah, that's right. I want to start off though with the tropics. Kind of some breaking weather out there. We had tropical depression 25 form this morning. It was invest 91 here in the Northwest Caribbean has a large circulation with it here, but just enough of a low level circulation to make this a tropical depression. Hurricane hunters are in route to investigate this as well too. Uh, winds are at 35 moving northwest at nine pressure 1005 millibars. Now look at his forecast to slowly work its way toward Cozumel Cancun area. That's going to hang a turn here to the west and then go over toward parts of the Bay of Campeche. But look at this. It's going to become a tropical storm. Get the name Gamma uh, as we head on into this weekend. And then this kind of slowly rained itself out across part of the Yucatan before going back here and kind of meandering there in the Bay of Campeche. Still is a tropical storm. Winds around 50 miles per hour. So we'll be watching this one. But the thing is, you notice how it's making that turn and not coming up here. That's some wonderful news because what's happening is we're looking at another front coming in next week. Big ridge of high pressure behind it. Clockwise flow around it. That's what's pushing it off to the west, so we don't have to worry about this one coming on into our neighborhood, which is great news. The last thing we need is another tropical system across our area, and you can see the forecast models kind of agreeing with that, kind of going right near Cozumel and Cancun, and then kind of getting into the Gulf, and then making that turn off to the west here across the Bay of Campeche. This is next Tuesday night, but notice how we'll still get some cloud cover, though, coming from this, and maybe a little bit of some rain along the coastline, even as we head on into next weekend, still may see a little bit of some rain with this, because that system still just going to be meandering there all of next week. So for Unfortunately, nothing else to worry about there. Another system off in the parts of the eastern Caribbean has a low chance of development of 30%. We'll keep an eye on it. May not develop next week until it gets to that same spot. So something worth watching, but at this point, nothing to be concerned about. Back here at home, beautiful weather, 76 degrees. Look at that 2.41 humidity, only 29%. It is so dry and less humid out there. Very comfortable air. North of Lake 73 in Hammond, 76 for you in Slidell. It's as warm as 79 in Homa, and we're going to have great weather today. The nice little breeze as well out the north coming from that front and really windy weather down there along the coastline as well. So they're going to be dealing with some breezy conditions there throughout the day today. But you'll see a light wind 6 to 12 miles per hour. Once the sun goes down, temperatures slowly fall. Winds start to die down, but very great night for any kind of high school football going on out there. No problems and may even want a light jacket even as once the sun sets. But 77, 78, 79 degrees out there for high temperatures today below our normal high of 84. And look at the record. 96 setback last year. Yeah, it was a pretty hot start to October last year. Remember, the finish quite cold on Halloween with a big front coming in. But check out the low temperatures tonight. 49 on the North Shore. How about 59 degrees here on the South Shore? Very comfortable. Open your windows type weather out there. Kind of air out your homes. Get some fresh air in there. How about 56 in Bell Chase to Homa area. So looking pretty good as we head into tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, if you're allergy sufferers, weed pollen on the high side. So is mold levels. Thanks to ragweed season kicking in. Already starting to feel it in my sinuses. I'm sure many of you are as well too. So if you have those allergies, get ready to grab those allergy meds. You might need them soon. It is clear out there. We have a lot of sunshine. The front's now down into the central Gulf of Mexico. High pressure building in for the weekend. You have sinking air. That means wonderful weather. And indeed, we're going to have that. Look at that. No rain expected all the way through Tuesday. We'll have some dry conditions out there as well too. So as you go into the afternoon, again, getting into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees out there with plenty of sunshine. By 10 o'clock tonight, 50s and 60s for you on the North Shore, 60s on the South Shore. And as we head on into your Saturday morning, there you see the 40s and 50s briefly up there. So a little chill in the air this morning. Hammond got down to 50 degrees. We'll be around 59 in the city, so a little cooler out there as the winds die down. And as we go on into tomorrow, again, another pleasant day expected. But look at that only getting to the mid 70s, about 76 degrees. This is some very comfortable weather. If you headed to Nashville and cheer on LSU, taking on Vanderbilt, cool dry for the 630 kickoff temperatures in the 60s and the Saints taking on Detroit. Of course, you can't go to the game there, but it is played inside, fortunately because 60% chance of rain expected with temperatures in the 50s. So kind of cold and raw and rainy up there in Detroit. Yuck, but stay here instead. Look at that beautiful weather through the weekend. 81 Sunday, little front comes through Monday, and then there are the clouds coming in from that tropical system in the Gulf. But again, it's not coming here.